What are the best perks to use in Warzone? We're going to figure that out by going over all of them and their updates, along with how much each perk is used in Warzone to determine what you should be running to elevate your gameplay and ascend to the top of Warzone. Let's start by going over the perks in slot 1. We got double time up first, where we got double the duration of our tactical sprint and we increased our crouch movement speed by 30%, so both of those are super useful. Then we got EOD, which they just recently buffed, where instead of only getting 35% reduced for non kill streak explosives, you get 45%, which this counteracts their buff to Semtexes and Frags and all explosive equipment. And this also increases the throwback reaction time. You also don't get the effects of Shrapnel, which we'll go over later in the video. Next, you got Scavenger, which just resupplies extra ammo and plates from dead players. They recently buffed it where you actually get one plate from the Scavenger packs now. So they made it a little bit better, but I'm gonna give you a hint we're probably not going to be using this perk. Now we got Cold Blooded, which makes you undetectable by AI targeting systems and thermal optics, which people used to run thermal all the time. Now it's a very niche thing for people to use, but it also doesn't trigger high alert warnings for people who are using that perk, and it also negates the Combat Scout perk. This is actually pretty valuable to have on your classes. Now we got Kill Chain, which increases your chance of finding kill streaks in supply boxes. That's more of a thing for plunder that would be really useful. And for the sixth and final option in perk one, we got Quick Fix which allows you when you kill players or inserting plates you immediately start your health regeneration. That used to only happen when you knock someone, but now what they did to buff it is if you put on one plate, your white health immediately starts to regen. It makes it a lot more useful. Now if we look at perk 2, there's going to be 7 options instead of 6 like in perk slot 1, and we're going to go with restock first, and this allows you to recharge all of your equipment over 25 seconds, except for with stems they nerfed it to 50 seconds because of how good they are. And that is a really useful perk to get on your second loadout. Next up we got Hardline, which allows you to get 25% off your kill streaks and field up upgrades or armor plates at buy stations. It's a little bit nice, but I don't think I would be using this over some of these other perks that are about to come up. Now we got Tempered, which allows you to refill your armor plates faster. It only takes two plates instead of three to get your full 150 armor. So that, all that means is each plate is worth 75 health instead of 50, and it also allows you to get health quicker because each plate you put on takes the same amount of time, but you're getting 25 extra health. Then we got Overkill, which allows you to carry two primary weapons. This is pretty much like your first loadout of the game, which are pretty much all always going to want to run, but you're going to switch it up on your second loadout. Now we've got high alert. This was mentioned earlier. This is what cold blooded will stop. Your vision will pulse when an enemy outside of your vision looks at you. And all it does is like it has like a little yellow bar on the side of your screen. If someone's looking at you from your left side, footsteps from players using dead silence will also still be audible. That's almost useless now with how rare the dead silences are to find. Up next, we got ghost. This used to be the most popular perk too because it makes you undetectable to UAVs, radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. But they did just recently nerf this where you have to be moving in order for Ghost to actually work. So if you're just sitting in a corner, someone will still see you on their heartbeat or the UAV. And finally, we got Point Man, where all members of your team earn more money from completed missions. This is really good for leveling up your weapons and plunder, but to actually use in a full game of Warzone a Rebirth isn't really worth it. Now let's move to Perk Slot 3, which also has seven perks in it. And first we got Tuna and this is gonna reduce the charge time of your field upgrades by 40%. I don't really know what that means. I think it only affects plunder because you don't actually have your field upgrades recharge in normal wars on a rebirth. And then it reduces the revive time by 25%. That means it's gonna knock off two and a half seconds when you're trying to res your teammate. Next up, we got Amped, which is faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed. So the rocket launcher reload speed is a little bit more niche, but the faster weapon swap is so important on a lot of weapons. Now we got Combat Scout. This is one of the things that Cold Blooded also countered. But what it does is if you damage an enemy, it briefly highlights them for you, and then it marks them for your entire squad. Pretty much like a live ping, and then you can see the guy through the wall for about half a second. And next we got Shrapnel. This is what EOD countered, and it's going to be the second part of the description. So first you spawn with an extra piece of lethal equipment, which is pretty useless because you can just find an extra piece around the map. That's really not necessary, but this is the part that's cool about it. Explosive damage will delay your enemy's health regeneration. That's the part that EOD will counter. So that's a pretty cool thing, but a little bit more niche and probably not as useful as some of these other perks. Then we got Battle Heart, where it actually reduces the strength of enemy flashes, stuns, EMPs, and gas effects. And you're also immune to snapshot grenades, which are super OP. Then we got Engineer, and it detects enemy equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks through walls. And then you can mark them for your teammates by aiming down the sights, and you can hack the equipment to turn to yours. Like if someone has a Claymore placed down, you could hack it, and then the Claymore 
It's yours and they could run into it and it could knock them. Definitely interesting. Maybe not the most useful, but not bad. And finally, the last perk in this category is going to be Tracker. Enemies leave behind a footprint trail and you can see markers at enemy death locations and hide the death markers of the enemies you kill. So those last two things aren't that useful. The really big part of this one is being able to see an enemy footprint trail. Make sure to like the video. It really helps me out. Subscribe to get up-to-date Warzone information to make sure you're ahead of the competition. Now we're going to take a look at how much each perk is used to see which ones are worth running. I'm going to be doing this by going to warzonerank.com, which I'll have linked in the description. The first thing I want to take a look at is the perks that counter other perks. For example, if everyone used EOD, shrapnel would become completely useless. Or, if no one is using shrapnel, like they aren't, with a 1.9% pick ratio, that part of EOD is useless, so that's going to make EOD a little bit less valuable. Now if we take a look at Cold Blooded, remember this thing countered High Alert and it countered Combat Scout. So 40% of players are using Combat Scout and 3.5% are using High Alert. So right there, that's actually going to buff the value of Cold Blooded because of how many people are rocking combat. Now if we take a look at this, 33% of players are using Cold Blooded, which is going to lower the value of the other two perks that I just mentioned. Now EOD is still pretty good, but if I actually quickly take a look at the lethal equipment players are using, you will be able to see that throwing knives are the most common thing and that's not explosive damage. So therefore that is going to nerf the value of EOD again, meaning it's probably not gonna be our best perk one. And if we go back to the perks again, double time is obviously used by a lot of players because the map is really big and those mountains make it take forever to run up and down. So it's still really valuable on this map. Quick fix is a pretty good one for really aggressive players. So if you're always rushing people, this will come in handy a lot because your health regening quickly is going to allow you to win more gunfights. No one really uses kill chain or scavenger and the average KD ratios of those players is really bad. Now if we go to perk slot two, are there any perks that are countered by something else? Nope, other than high alert and we already went over that. So we're just gonna be looking them on their merits. So overkill is definitely a really good perk too, but I'm gonna be talking about what you wanna use on your second loadout. So now ghost right now is still picked in 25.2% of loadouts and I just don't think it's worth it because you have to be running around in order for it to work. And is ghost really that useful when you're running around making really loud footsteps steps it, it just doesn't make sense for me to use typically ghost is more useful for the players who wanted to chill in good positioning but you're still going to show up on the uavs and the heartbeats personally speaking i would not run ghosts anymore now high alert is still a really good perk because it works on 67 percent of the lobby currently but it is still divided a little bit because of how much cold blood it is used now if we look at restock this one is barely picked by players i think this is really useful if you're running stems or snapshots which snapshots, if you remember, are countered by Battle Hardened. And with Tempered, you get 75 health per plate, so you get health back faster. This is why people who really like close quarters fighting and are always pushing other teams, Quick Fix and Tempered are the way to go. Hardline and Point Man, definitely don't use them, but this Hardline set is insane. 0.9% of players use it, and they can have a KD ratio of 0.43. <laughs> that is actually insane that it's that low. Now if we go to the final perk, Combat Scout obviously is a really good one, but Cold Blooded really nerfs the value of it in my opinion and now if we go to amped this is the other perk you're probably going to want to pair with tempered and quick fix because it allows you to swap your weapons faster and in close quarters combat if you run out of ammo in your clip you may not be able to reload in time you get a quick weapon swap and it's going to be really useful and then tracker is okay but i don't think it's nearly as good as amped or combat scout even with the people using cold blooded the next perk i want to take a look at is going to be battle hardened and if you remember this is the one that counters tactical equipment you gotta look at how much people use that to determine how good this perk is and if we go to the tactical equipment we can see that heartbeat sensor is used by 37 percent of the lobby and then stems by 33.4 so that means 70 percent of the lobby is using something that battle hardened won't even help you with because it nerfs the power of stuns flashes and gas grenades while completely getting rid of the effect of snapshots but that's only going to be used by about 30 percent of the lobby meaning that 70 percent of the player base doesn't even have a chance to hit you with one of these tactical equipments and all that means is that it's really going to nerf the power of this perk meaning it isn't really worth running because what's going to happen more you need to swap your weapon quickly or combat scout you're just shooting a player that gives a live ping to your teammates both of those are going to happen way more often than you getting hit by a stun therefore they're going to be more valuable and basically the rest of these perks don't do enough to help you out tune up especially all it does is allow you to revive someone 25 percent quicker and then you go shrapnel this delays people from healing but then you got 60 percent of the players that doesn't even have that effect on and an extra piece of lethal equipment on spawn is completely useless tune up and shrapnel i would never use 
Now, Spotter, I'm pretty sure is supposed to be Engineer. I don't know why it's called Spotter on this website. And I'm surprised to see that the KD ratio is 0.58 because this thing actually does have some benefits to it. Being able to see enemy equipment through walls is actually pretty useful to seeing where people are camping or chilling out at. Engineer to definitely be better than Tune Up and Shrapnel. I'm gonna give you three different perk setups for differing play styles. First, I'll go with my preference of cold-blooded, restock, and amped. And what this does is it allows you to be aggressive and lay back depending on what is going on in your game. Cold-blooded is great because it stops the combat scout perk from working as well as high alert. And a lot of sweaty players do use the perk high alert. So therefore, having cold-blooded will allow you to sneak up on them and kill them. And then restock, what is so good about that so you can have proximity mines, so if you need to chill in a building towards end game, you can have proximity mines covering an entrance. And then if you want to be aggressive, you'll have snapshot grenades or stems in order to be able to push. Stem sliding is super OP in mid-fight. Snapshots are super OP in fight because you can see where everyone is on the map and no one uses battle hardened in order to get rid of that. And then amped allows you to swap your weapons quickly, which is really good in close quarters fights. Personal preference because it allows you to be aggressive or lay back and chill. Next we got Quick Fix Tempered and Amped. I hinted at this earlier being the best perk setup for aggressive players because it allows you to regain health the quickest, helping you in close quarters combat. This is really good on Rebirth. Next up is going to be Cold Blood and Restock and Combat Scout. This is going to be your campiest playstyle if you're someone who just likes to chill in really good positioning. If you're going to play really slow, go with this perk setup. Make sure to use these perk combinations and click on this video right here to know which weapons to use with them. Peace.